Today we heard in the Gospel of Matthew how the disciples were sailing on the sea and a storm arose and threw the ship from side to side. The waves were high, the wind was strong, the rain was hard and fast. And behold, they see Jesus walking on the water. At first they thought it was a ghost. But then Peter exclaimed, If it is thee, O Lord, grant that I may come out and walk on the water. And Jesus says, Come. And St. Peter the Apostle, the first in throne of the Apostles, walks on the water. Now it was dark, and there's nothing more fearful than being on a stormy sea in the dark. You cannot see what's beyond normal vision. And the waves were rising high above him. But yet, Peter focused on Christ, and he walked on water. He did something far beyond his own abilities. But then he started to look at the waves. He started to realize what was happening. And he began to fear. He, to be, he began to believe in the, in the strength of the wind and the waves. And he began to sink. And immediately he cried out, Lord, save me. And our Lord stretched out his hand and pulled Peter up and put him back into the boat. This reading, brothers and sisters, is a popular reading among many Orthodox <coughs> believers. Because as we know, in life, we are called to sail the sea of life. And in life, we encounter many times very calm and tranquil seas. When things go just fine, when everyone around us is at peace, everyone is healthy, all is well. There are also times when we have to pass through many storms in life. Someone close to us is very ill or suffering or we ourselves are experiencing all kinds of temptation and trouble. We are pulled from, from both sides and the strength that's demanded of us is far beyond our own ability. And we remember this reading. Saint Theophan the Recluse says that St. Peter began to sink because not only of his little faith in God, but because of his faith in putting strength in the world around him. He attributed power to the waves and the wind, to the rain and the thunder and the lightning. And because of that, he became victim of them and under their captive and he began to sink but our Lord is the Lord of all the universe the creator of the world the all powerful God who is above and beyond all of the physics of nature and has power and dominion over every living thing And if we put our faith in our Lord, St. Theophan the Recluse says, then we too can do things beyond our strength. Yes, there are many things in this world that hold sway over us. But there are also other things that usually hold sway, but we as Orthodox Christians must stand firm against the waves of little faith against the storms of selfishness and pride 
against the wind of doubt and confusion and against the lightning of self-will. There are many things around us in our life, brothers and sisters, that try to influence us. Many times we feel that we are tempted to strike out in word or deed out of anger. We are tempted to give in to all kinds of temptations of earthly goods and fleshly pleasures. We are led astray by all the cares of this world that we whittle away time on many worldly things and then very little, if any, is left for prayer. We become so ingrained in following earthly pleasures and desires that we forget about heavenly things. And we attribute more power and more authority to the physical world around us than we should. And then it is no wonder why it's difficult for us to fast. We explain it away why we shouldn't do it. It is no wonder why it's difficult for us to pray morning and evening, to come to church every Sunday. It is no wonder why we cannot find the spiritual strength to give of ourselves selflessly, selfless, selflessly to those in need. It is no wonder why we fall into a whole variety of sins because we sink down into the mire of this world just like St. Peter sank in the waters because of his little faith. So let us, brothers and sisters, accept a few things that we are to sail this sea of life and it will not always be tranquil. We may follow the commandments, we may come to church, we may love God, we may strive to follow His will, but that's no guarantee that the sea will always be calm. A variety of waves of difficulties and temptations will always rise up regardless whether we are righteous or sinners. But there's one difference. Regardless of the waves, regardless of the difficulties, if we do love God and if we do lead a righteous life and if we do strive to follow the commandments, we will be like St. Peter when he focused on Christ and walked on water. That the power and authority of things that weigh over us will not have dominion over us. Because God is the master of our life. He has dominion over our life. And when we focus on Him, he gives us strength by His grace to do things that are far beyond our ability. So if it's difficult for us to forgive someone close to us who has hurt us, or if it is difficult for us to overcome earthly desires and pleasures, if it's difficult for us to assemble our life in a righteous way and prioritize our time, if it's difficult for us to pray and fast, acknowledge that it is beyond our strength and fall down before our Lord and ask Him for His grace to do that which is beyond our ability so as to be well-pleasing in His sight and for the sake of our salvation. So let us never despair no matter how difficult life may become. Let us never give up on prayer, no matter how 
unfeeling and cold our prayer may be, let us never give up on trusting our Lord, regardless of how alone and abandoned we may feel. Because we feel and experience these things out of little faith. Our Lord is always with us. Where two and three are gathered in my name, he says, there I am in your midst. And he promised his disciples and he promises us, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. No matter how stormy the sea or calm our life may be, let us always stay focused on Christ. Amen.